Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hello. It's Alex again. He made another appearance. Wait, I didn't even introduce myself. Hi, my name is Janelle, and I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in today's video, I'm here with my husband, Alex, Hello. who I introduced before I started. And today we're gonna be doing kind of like a reverse tie-dye. Try out acid wash t-shirts. What made me think of this idea was because we really wanted to do a tie-dye video together, but with everybody doing tie-dye in quarantine, everything has been sold out. So we are like, we got bleach and we got t-shirts, might as well transform some of our old t-shirts and like spice them up a little bit. So I did some trial ones on Alex's shirt. This was just like a dark blue one and it turned it into this. I also did a trial one on this tank top. So if you guys wanna learn how to acid wash some of your clothes because you want that tie-dye look, but you can't buy tie-dye anywhere, then definitely please keep watching. Not just that. So basically what you're gonna need are some old t-shirts and some bleach. I just poured some like regular bleach into this old like cleaning kaboom stuff that we ran out of. I just poured the bleach in there so that would be easy to spray or you can just buy like those dollar spray bottles from Walmart or anything like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I have on my real eyes today, just kidding. But I have on my Solitica contact lenses from LensMe in the color ochre. I will leave the link to them down below as well as the coupon code here to save some money. All right, so let's start off by showing you guys the shirts we're gonna transform. This is Alex's $4 shirt that he got from Walmart and we're gonna make it look so cool. I also have this Golden Girls t-shirt that I got from Walmart, which I love and I love the color of it, but I feel like everybody, or I see so many people with this shirt, so I wanna make mine look different. And then I also have this shirt that I thrifted. It's like a cool tan color. So I wanna see how this will pick up the acid wash. And if this ends up turning out good, then I do wanna try it out on this top. I just, if it doesn't pick up on neutral tones that good, I don't wanna like ruin both shirts. I hope so, cause I want like, oh, a nude tie-dye kind of look. Then I also have this Adidas sweatshirt that my dad gave me, which I like it as is, but you can't really see the Adidas symbol. It's also dirty, so don't mind that. But you can't really see the Adidas symbol that much. So I feel like if I add the acid wash, it'll like make this pop more. So I'm interested to see how this will come out. And it's the same color as the shirt that I did for Alex. So it has that like pinky red tone. I think it'll start so laid out here. You wanna make sure that you do this on a surface that you don't mind messing up. So we just took the tarp that we normally use to like paint different things. I also recommend doing this outside or in a well ventilated area, but we're sacrificing our lives because the sound quality if we do this outside will be terrible. So indoors Wait, so it should be a little bit better. This on my dye? Yeah, but it'll be worth it to get that. Basically, you just wanna get like a shirt and you can either just like scrunch it up in a ball like this. You can get rubber bands and like do the same thing, like different rubber band things that you would do with tie-dye. I like for it to be more like sporadic and not super structured. So I just roll it up in a ball. Make sure it's nice and scrunched. The more saturated the shirt is, the more intense the outcome will be. If you do like a softer spray, it'll be more of like a subtle thing so yeah i like certain areas to be more saturated some to be more dry that way it has more dimension so i'm just gonna spray it and like i said this is just regular brute bleach also i would recommend wearing gloves when you're doing this because it's just safer but we take risks here so the shirt is pretty saturated basically what i do so that i'm not putting my hands in it is i just take my part and kind of like squish it all together like that it's nice and compact in there and then I flip it around and do it to the other that is there so now you say hey Google set a 10 minute timer oh gosh my hair's in turmoil Google she's listening she uh, doesn't talk back remember she doesn't not until you tell her what to do oh set a 10 minute timer so once you spray everything you want to set a 10 minute timer so you can just set it for 10 minutes and then be done with it. But if you want it to have more dimension, you want certain areas to be more bleached than the other, then after 10 minutes, you can do another spray over and then wait another 10 minutes. And that's what's gonna give your shirt a lot of cool dimension, like how Alex's shirt came out. 
All right, so Alex is trying out a different technique with it. He wants the bleach to go more like up and down in stripes. So he's just like folding up his shirt. But if you want it like that, maybe try spraying it in rows. Yeah. Like go down because it'll still be splattered if you don't do that. There you go. And then like when you rub it in, you just like, you can use your fingers to maybe to rub it in. Dang, it works quick on black. Look at you guys can already see the color change. I love the tone uh, black shirts made. I feel like if you try this, definitely try it with like black or navy. For, it gives like the coolest effect on those colors. I'm like excited and scared. I want to make sure I get most of the bleach where the this part is, the Adidas sign is. So I'm going to scrunch that up. Everything else. I'll probably have to do a couple sprays of this one because I feel like I won't get it all right away. With your dark blue shirt, I had to do it a couple of times. I'm just gonna do the back side of this and we'll be back to show you guys. Look at how sick that looks. Turn it around. Yo, that looks so good. You just wanna rinse this with cold water. So we're just gonna use our washing machine and set it to cold and yeah. You can do this in the sink if you wanted to, but I feel like it's just better in the washing machine. They're gonna be washing the shirts anyway, so might as well just rinse them in here and then dub all of the shirts that you bleach in here. And then we'll use a regular detergent to wash them. I'm still finishing up mine, so Alex is just gonna make sure all of the dyes out. You wanna rinse it until all of the, like there's no more color coming out of your shirt. I don't know how to explain it. Why are you sitting like Ella? <laughs> <laughs> How do you sit like that? Oh, I like this. Oh, I gotta get more of this though. Yo, I like no, that. No, hold thing. on, wait. Open it up, see what it looks like. You might not have to go more in there. Yeah, I do. I just want a little bit more here. Okay, Google, stop timer. Baby, can you rinse out that shirt? This one? Loud. We're on our patio. Alex is hating on my thing. So with this one, make sure to read the tags before you do it because with this one, it says you can use bleach. So and it was a 50-50 cotton polyester. So it didn't really pick up well. I definitely recommend doing this on cotton if you want more dramatic effects. I think it'll just be more of that like worn in kind of look. But yeah, so I'm gonna rinse this out. Then this is how my hoodie came out. So this came out much different than I expected. I expected it to have more of like that pink hue. I do like how around the edges it has that like purpley look and then inside it's gray. And then this is how the front looks, which I'm not mad at. Like I actually think that looks kind of cool. That does look pretty cool on camera. One, <laughs> Alex won this round, but that's not bad. I think if I did a little bit more bleach on that, Alex is just soaking everything up because he knows he won. I didn't win anything. I just, just be quiet. Prefer my style. Over He's yours. so annoying, dude. All right, we're gonna go rinse these and put them in the wash. We're gonna use a, like a regular. Um, what can I say? Detergent. A regular detergent, and then we will wash them with cold water, dry them, and then we'll be back to show you guys the complete dried finish. Mary, and look how cool that came out. It was a tan shirt that I had on. That's why I changed into this shirt inside out. But it like looks like legit tie dye. So I'm about to rinse this one out. This was kind of a spare the spare the moment thing. I wasn't planning on doing this one, but a little bit of bleach accidentally got on it and it looked cool. So I was like, you know what? I'm risking it. So happy about hey it, guys. We're back three months later. Just kidding. I guess it's been like three days to film the outro of this video and show you guys how the things that we made came out. So I guess I'll start off first because I have on one of the items. So this is how the Adidas sweater came out. It ended up turning more into like a gray, lavender, purple, 
and then it has some dimension with like the darker purple around here. I was surprised because I was expecting it to turn out how Alex's shirt originally did. This one was more pink. One thing we realized though is that depending on the fabric, the colors will come out different. This shirt was 100% cotton. That's why the navy blue turned into more of a pink. Um, this sweater was a poly blend, right? Yeah, poly cotton blend. Poly. But oh, wait. Poly cotton blend. I <laughs> this was a poly cotton blend, so it turned out a little bit different. Another thing is, is that if it isn't 100% cotton, it will take a little bit longer for it to like soak in and for the color to come out. So this I have to keep spraying over and soaking in order for it to like take away the color because it wasn't really doing much at first but i'm so happy with how it came out i kind of want to crop it alex doesn't want me to crop it but i think it would look so cute like this like i love it yeah so with that one the 10 minute intervals don't work you got to wait a little bit longer yeah um just let it kind of set in a little bit more and then you could go back and reapply how she was talking about for that like depth type of yeah thing. and then also whenever it's like a thicker non-cotton fabric you do, you have to let it sit, like he said, for longer periods of time. But if it is cotton, it normally picks up the color a lot faster. So this one here, you guys saw a little peak of it during the video. Picked up the bleach really, really quickly. It took like, I didn't even have to let it sit for 10 minutes. Yeah, I know, it was really it, fast. It was literally as I was spraying, it was turning this rust color. And that one, he folded up like this and sprayed more up and down to create the like more of the line more of like a on purpose kind of it's like on purpose but it still looks very freaking it looks really cool so i'm gonna show you guys my fail and then i'll show you guys the last one that worked so these two shirts did absolutely nothing <laughs> my golden girl shirt Literally stay the same. If anything, it just lightened the pink a little bit. If you do try this at home, make sure to read the instructions, I guess, because this was... Oh, this is 50. Yeah, it's a 50-50 blend, and then it says that you can use this with yeah. bleach. Yeah, so, so that's why it didn't really do anything. It just made it a little cleaner. And then this shirt, too, it really it didn't do anything. I think that this one was already, like, acid washed, so it stayed the same. But now it's super clean. <laughs> and this last shirt, this was the shirt I was wearing at the start of this video. And I was kind of hesitant on doing it because I didn't want to mess it up. But I'm so happy I ended up doing it because it came out so cool. This shirt is 100% cotton, so it picked it up super fast. And this started off, as you guys saw earlier, it was like a tan nude color. And it ended up turning into like a peachy orange color. So you can see like the edges of it are like orange and then there's like here, it's a little peach. So I'm so happy with how this shirt came out. It looks like I legit tie dyed it and I kind of want to crop this one too. So yeah, those were the results for our acid wash slash bleaching, tie dye, whatever you want to call this. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I definitely want to try it with more clothes. If you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Let us know if you guys end up trying this out. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday when I upload. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!